Apple just updated GarageBand on Mac to version 10.4.7. Bug and stability fixes abound, plus the addition of two brand new sound packs that were previously iOS only. What's new in this update then? Well, you can see the full release notes up on screen now. I'll link to those in the description as well. Note that you'll need to be running macOS 12.3, aka Monterey, to access this update. Apple have ironed out some issues with voiceover here, as well as nuking a bug that affected Apogee hype microphone users in particular, for some reason. Under plugins, it reads, Intel Audio Unit plugins now load and function as expected. I'm assuming this means that plugins that haven't been updated to run natively on Apple Silicon machines will now run without a hitch in GarageBand projects that are hosted on M-chip equipped Macs, which is nice. Bit of a boo-boo here as under bounce slash export it reads, performing bounce and replace all tracks with the include automation option deselected no longer mutes track-based automation on the destination tracks. Which sounds great until you realise that bounce and replace isn't something that you can do in GarageBand. It is something you can do in Logic Pro, which also just received an update. So this is either just a mistake or fixes an export error that affects both programs and the language used hasn't been updated for the GarageBand release notes. There are also several general updates, the most exciting of which probably being the fixes made to recording MIDI in replace mode. Alongside the update, Apple also added content from two previously iOS only sound packs, Modular Rhythms and Beat Tape. Modular Rhythms adds 12 new electronic drum kits and over 200 Apple loops. The kits and loops here were all created using modular synths and analogue drum machines that probably fit best when used in glitchy, industrial type electronic projects. If you're into creating modern glitched out trap or EDM, then there's a lot here to like. Tape adds six new drum kits and over 240 Apple loops. Beat Tape's loops are heavily sample based and are crying out to be chopped up and put back together in interesting ways. They're grouped together inside the loop browser itself, which makes it really easy to pull together a beat on the fly. The lo-fi hip hop sounds on offer here are great if you're into that sort of thing, and if you're not, a lot of the percussion and drum loops here will work really well in a variety of different genres. GarageBand for Mac obviously doesn't include live loop grids, so you won't get access to the one that comes with the Beat Tape sound pack, though if you're a Logic Pro user, you will get access to that live loop grid. One thing to bear in mind is that the drum loops that come with these two packs won't be added to your sound library automatically. You'll need to either download each one individually, or you can just go to GarageBand in the toolbar, hover over Sound Library, and click on Download All Available Sounds. I ran into a bit of an issue after updating. The loops included in the Beat Tape pack were just nowhere to be found. The content from the Modular Rhythms pack was all present and correct, 
But the Beat Tape pack just wasn't in the Loop Browser's list of available packs. Luckily, this was fairly easily remedied by just re-indexing all Apple Loops. So if you run into the same issue after updating, that's how to fix it. And that's GarageBand version 10.4.7. It's great that both the Mac and iOS versions of GarageBand now offer the same content to users again, with the addition of the modular rhythms and beat tape packs here. And while there aren't any real show-stopping new features here, it's great to see Apple continuing to actively support GarageBand on Mac. For more info on the two new sound packs included in this update, watch this playlist next.